So we're gonna be grilling some burgers tonight. And I replaced my old Weber with a brand new Weber. And I'm excited to use it the first time. Just getting the charcoal lit up. And I'm one that still uses fluid, but I use, this is what I use. I use Royal Oak All Natural, which is actually, it kind of smells like whiskey when you put it out. It's no petroleum. It doesn't leave any kind of aftertaste, nothing, nothing at all. And uh, starts a good fire. And you can hear the crackling because I only use uh, lump charcoal. And this is my lighter that I use right here. I believe it's the Oklahoma Joe. And I got it at Academy. And you just attach a propane bottle to it. And so this is the first time I'm using it, this grill. Kind of making sure all the oils and such are burned off. So... All right, we will be back later. For the patties, I keep it really, really simple. I use a little of Fiesta brand Hamburger Deluxe. It's the best stuff for burgers. And I just sprinkle some on both sides. And then I will throw a little olive oil on it. When I put it out on the grill, before I put it on the grill, that way it doesn't stick. And... I use Lee and Peran's Worcestershire sauce. I will put that on as I'm cooking. So I'll probably do two different, uh, when I flip them, each time I flip them, I'll put some on each side. And that's, ba that's basic for me. I cook them over direct heat to start, get a nice sear, then I put them on indirect heat, close the top, and let them cook. Fire is almost where I want it. It, I'm waiting till I don't have any more flames coming up and it's just white hot coals and that will get me a really really good sear on the outside and then I'll move it off onto this side close the lid and that's what's going to cook them all the way through and that's the way I've been making burgers forever and they stay juicy they stay tender and very very flavorful and here we go with the first four putting them on Getting the sear, you know, some already got some nice grill marks. Flaming up a little bit because obviously it's releasing a little bit of fat and there's oil on that. So, but that's fine because it's not going to stay over the heat forever. It's going to be moved off once I get a good sear on both sides. Second set going on. This is the first side, then I'll flip them and get the other side seared and then move these off as well. Okay, got all of them seared. Now I got them on the indirect side and if you can see down in one of the new cool things on the Weber Master Touch are those grates that they put on the inside that you can put in to direct where you want the coals to be so you could have one on each side and have coals in the middle and then have a, a, a indirect side over on the other on each side or you can do like I'm doing and split it off by about 60 40 and have the coals in the back and then the indirect side here. So that's really good because I've, I've used the little the little containers they have that you put in that you can put the coals on. And while those are good, they do rust really quick. These are really nice because it's just a simple two little grates that you put in. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the lean pairings. I'll just do a couple squats on that. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and let them go for a little bit. Get back with you, thanks. All right, we're gonna open up, check the temp. We're running almost 450, about 425. So, here's the way the burgers are looking now. And we're gonna do a flippy flip. Don't worry, there'll be cheese coming on them soon enough. If you're wondering, these are 80-20s. And the bigger burgers are half pound burgers. And the smaller ones are about, I guess about a third pound. Uh, they didn't have two packs of the half pound burgers. So I went with two big and uh, two small. One of, one of each, one pack of each. So uh, we're gonna put some more Worcestershire sauce back on them.
All right, gonna close the top back. So these are triple cheese cheeseburgers. I've got American, I've got mild cheddar, and I've got provolone. So I'm about to close the top and we'll let the cheese melt. Everything's done on the inside. Everything's anywhere between 160 to 165, which is what I always cook ground beef to. If I don't grind it myself, I cook it to 165. So it's pretty close, but when I close the top, the cheese melts, it'll get it to that temp. All right, looks like we're ready to come off. Cheese is all melted. I'm gonna go set it, take it inside, let it sit, and that'll actually melt a little bit more and we'll be eating real soon. The other thing I wanna show is this right here. This is a add-on for the grill. It is a, it's solid metal and it hooks right on the side. It doesn't affect the lid closing or anything like that. So you can set anything you need on it. it. Pops right off. It doesn't bolt on or anything. It pops right off. So like if you have a cover for your grill, you can still use it. And you can just set this inside of the grill after you're done when you put the cover back on. It's got four sets of hooks. Very, very sturdy. I really like it. It's the first time I've bought anything like that as an addition to the grill. Uh, I will put a link to it in the description. And uh, I will show a picture of the uh, final product when I put the burgers together. Thanks. All right, here's the finished product. Nice looking triple cheeseburger with some green leaf lettuce, tomato, pickle, and some red onion. And uh, some little Andy Caps hot fries on the side. So I'm about to dig in. All right, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And I'll see you next time.